Hey guys, this is Neon, this is Clownfish Gaming, and this is gaming news on Clownfish Gaming. We're gonna talk about the Nintendo Switch and uh, another lawsuit. If you remember a couple of years ago, there was a lawsuit against Nintendo, a class action lawsuit over Drift. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about that later, but Nintendo has beat a uh, Switch patent claim in an infringement suit. Basically, somebody said that uh, they, you know, Nintendo ripped off the Joy-Con from them, from their design, and they won. Nintendo won. Nintendo almost always wins. I'm just, I'm just saying, Nintendo almost always wins. So we're gonna talk about this. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so for more video game news and gameplay videos. I think Bloomberg broke the story. I'm gonna go out to the uh, Reuters uh, version here. Nintendo wins ruling to end patent lawsuit over Switch controllers. Uh, this is a company called GameVice. They accused atta the uh, attachable Switch controllers of infringing patents. The court says Nintendo Joy-Cons differ from GameVice's mobile device controllers. So Nintendo has defeated a patent lawsuit brought by video game peripheral maker uh, GameVice in California federal court that claimed Nintendo's Joy-Con controllers for its Switch gaming console infringed on two GameVice patents. Uh, the U.S. District Judge Richard Seaborg uh, said on Tuesday that Nintendo's controllers work differently than Game Vice's patented technology because they drift. No. <laughs> Ending Game Vice's lawsuit before trial, uh, reps for Nintendo and Game Vice did not immediately respond to requests for comment on the decision on Wednesday. The ruling marks the third loss for Game Vice after the U.S. International Trade Commission rejected two related patent complaints against Nintendo in 2019 and 2021. I mean, this is so weird. Nintendo is having all kinds of lawsuits about the Switch and Switch technology, and the Switch is at the end of its lifespan, right? I mean, everybody's talking about the Switch 2, the mythical Switch 2. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't. Hopefully, it's not like the Switch U, like uh, you know. But everybody's talking about there being another Switch on the horizon, and they're still fighting over the the Joy Cons on a you know five six year old console. Nintendo launched the Switch in 2017. The Japanese video game giant has sold nearly 130 million consoles as of June 2023. Uh, game Vice sued Nintendo in federal court in San Francisco in 2018. The lawsuit said that Nintendo's Joy-Con controllers, which could be used while attached to or detached from the Switch, infringed on Game Vice's patents covering gaming controllers that attach to smartphones and tablets. Everybody made controllers that attach to smartphones and tablets, and they don't work very well. I've had several of those, like the Bluetooth uh, iPhone controllers and stuff, because I was like, oh, I can play Sonic, Sonic CD on my iPhone with this crappy controller, right? And it just doesn't work right. Uh, Seaborg rejected Game Vice's remaining allegations over two patents on Tuesday after invalidating parts of its patent earlier this year. The judge said that Nintendo's controllers work in a different way than the technology that the patents cover. Uh, Seaborg said that Nintendo's... <laughs> Seaborg. <laughs> He's like, Cyborg. It's funny. It's funny. Uh, Seaborg says that Nintendo's controllers do not include the confinement structures or input module apertures to secure their joysticks that the patents outlined. Um, yeah, so there you go. They won another one. Now, they also won a class action lawsuit earlier in the year about the Switch Joy-Con drift. Uh, for those of you who have a Switch, who play play it uh, mobily, is that is that a is that a word mobily? For those, for those of you who use the Switch and you do mobile gaming uh, with the Switch and you don't have it hooked up to your TV and you're using uh, you're not using a controller. Uh, yeah, apparently the, the Joy-Cons drift, and they're like freaking 80 bucks a pair, right? Nintendo won a class action lawsuit about Joy-Con drift brought by parents who accused the company of knowingly selling faulty products. Uh, this, is, this is, again, this is earlier in the year. Uh, Nintendo won a class action lawsuit filed by parents who accused the company of knowingly selling faulty products. A lot of people complain about drift on Joy-Cons. I have not had it happen yet, but I have my Switch hooked up to the TV 90% of the time, and I very seldom use the Joy-Cons. I have a, a classic controller that I use. I actually have, um, it's an 8-bit Do uh, Super NES style controller 
that I like uh, a lot, actually. It's, it's really cool. It reminds me of the, the uh, Wii Classic controllers. That's what I use normally. So anyway, that's just me. Uh, the parents in question had initially attempted to sue Nintendo themselves, but it became clear that they had no chance of winning due to the Switch's end user license agreement, which prevents lawsuits. Those parents nevertheless went ahead with the lawsuit, arguing that their children weren't bound by the agreements and therefore could sue the company. What? Who thinks, hey, this, this controller is broke rather than go buy another controller or take it to Walmart and get a replacement or something or send it to Nintendo and get a replacement. I'm just going to sue Nintendo. I'm just going to sue them because, yeah, yeah, God, the case was brought about in uh, 2019, three days afterwards, an internal memo at Nintendo instructed employees in North America to start offering Nintendo Switch Joy-Con repairs for free. While the company took steps to fix the problem, those who filed the lawsuit said that the company hasn't done enough to fix a known issue. As a result, they kept on with the suit. One of the mothers, uh, Luz Sanchez, explained that the console was purchased in December but developed problems with the Joy-Con in less than a month. Maybe your kid is beating the crap out of it. Did it ever occur to you, Ms. Sanchez, that maybe your, your child is beating the crap out of the Joy-Con controller. I had teeth marks in my Sega Genesis controller from Ghouls and Ghosts, because it was really freaking hard. God, that game was so hard. It was so hard and I got so angry, I bit the controller and I swear to God, there were teeth marks in my Genesis controller. Is it Sega's problem? Is it Capcom's problem? No, nah, it was my problem. Because I had a temper and the game was hard and I was angry at it. Maybe your kid is like flinging the Joy-Cons across the room or something. Now, that being said, I know that drift is a problem with these things, and especially if you're pushing on them very hard. And it's it's been a problem, though. I mean, every Nintendo controller, go back to the N64 controllers. Those things were fragile. The thumbstick on those, like, they were fragile. I don't remember there being any lawsuits over that. I was like, oh, this controller's toast. Let's go buy another one. Uh, when I was really little, um, I, I had an Atari, a used Atari 2600, because I was, I was uh, too young for Atari 2600 when it, it uh, rolled around the first time. But I had used Atari 2600 right before I got my NES. And uh, the controllers went bad. You know, they did. If you pushed them too hard, they went bad. I don't remember people suing Atari. I, I don't know. But who knows? Uh, anyway, they kept on with the suit. And a lawsuit over the uh, Joy-Con problem has been dismissed. The parents' argument that their children were not bound by the end-user agreement license wasn't sound. As it was determined that the parents who owned the console and made the agreement, the children had no grounds to sue over it since the parents are bound by the agreement. They have no recourse but to give it up. Give it up. This is just uh, people trying to get uh, a quick buck out of Nintendo. This is like somebody tripping outside of Walmart. Oopsie doopsie, I fell outside of Walmart. Give me money. Uh, in other news, the Nintendo-themed restaurant in Super Nintendo World and Universal is going to sue you at the end of the meal. No, it, not really. This has come from Hard Drive. It's kind of funny because uh, Nintendo does sue people often. They sue people. They get sued often. I don't know what Nintendo... I would love to know what Nintendo's legal bills are every year. But, uh, they, you know, they've sued uh, hackers. They've sued... Uh, websites for hosting ROMs. Uh, they've had uh, action taken against uh, fans for creating content using their IP. I mean, they're very, they're a very litigious company. They are. So maybe, maybe in some way, it's a, a karmic boomerang that they get sued as often as they do because they sure do dole out the lawsuits themselves. But they're Nintendo. They're like a multi-billion dollar, kajillion dollar company, and uh, they can afford the legal bills, right? So I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already for more gaming news and gameplay videos, guys. We'll talk later. Thanks for watching. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and check out more videos on the channel, including Let's Plays in art and animation videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open and Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, oh you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- 
Not girl boss. Not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like, I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe, and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. Can't run him carrying trash. You can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>